In this video, you will learn how to solve this nice Olympiad mathematics question. We are asked to find the value of x in x to the power of x to the power of 3 equal to 36. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more simplified Olympiad mathematics content. Now to solve this question, what do you think we'll do first? I think the best thing to do is to take the cube of both sides. Now, as we do that, watch this video to the end as you are going to see how we arrive at the solution to that question. To take the cube root of both sides, we'll have this to become x to the power of x all to the power of 3 and all of these will be to the power of 3 and this will be equal to 36 to the power of 3. Good. Now to solve this further, we are going to simplify. Now if we simplify this further, I want you to recall a law of indices. In that law of indices, if you have x to the power of uh, a or multiply by b, this can be equal to x to the power of b or multiply by the power of a. So if we apply that here, we are going to have that expression to now give us x to the power of 3 and all to the power of x to the power of 3. And this will be equal to, recall, 36 can be equal to 6 to the power of 2, right? And this will be all to the power of 3. Great. Now, let's simplify further. If we simplify further, we are going to have, remember, the law of indices. In that law of indices, if we have a to the power of x all to the power of y, this can be equal to a to the power of xy, right? The exponent will multiply. So, if we apply that expression here, we're going to have this expression to now give us x to the power of 3 all to the power of x to the power of 3 to be equal to uh, 6 uh, multiplied by 2 times 3 as 6. Great. So that expression is going to give us uh, this. So from here, we are still going to apply a law of indices. Remember, in that law of indices, if you have a to the power of a to be equal to x to the power of x, then we can say that a is equal to x as long as x is greater than or equal to 1. So if we apply that to that expression, that expression will now give us uh, x, since they have uh, the same base, same base, same base, then x to the power of 3 will be equal to 6. So that will give us x to the power of 3 will be equal to 6. So, if we simplify this, we are going to get the value of x. Now, to simplify this, we simply need to do is to take the cube root of both sides. This will give us the cube root of x to the power of 3 equal to the cube root of 6. So, the cube root of 6 is going to give us the cube root of x to the power of 3. We'll have this clearing this. And then our x will be equal to, this will become 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3. Now recall that if you have a to the power of uh, a to the nth root of a, this can be equal to a to the power of 1 divided by n. That's exactly what we did there. So if we simplify that expression, we'll have the value of x to be equal to 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3. Now we want to see uh, if our solution to this question is right. So all we'll do is we'll take the value of x, substitute it into the initial equation to confirm if our solution is right. So what is the initial solution, the initial question? The initial question we're given x to the power of x to the power of 3 equal to 36. Now, if we make the value of x equal to uh, 6 
uh, to the power of 1 divided by 3, is it going to give us 36? That is the question. So let's simplify. To simplify, we're going to have that expression to now give us 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3 or multiply by 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3 or multiply by 3. Now, from this expression, this 3 will have to clear this and that expression will give us 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3 or multiplied by the power of 6. So, the power of 6 can clear this to give us 2. So, we'll have that expression to become 6 to the power of 2 to be equal to 36. So, you see, 36 on the left-hand side is equal to 36 on the right-hand side. So, that simply tells us that the value of 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3, which is equal to x, is the value of x that satisfies the exponential equation we are giving up there. So you see, very easy. I want you to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to kindly share this video with friends and colleagues. And remember to subscribe to our channel for more simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.